Ah, well, it's a wonderful morning here in the shop at Retro Tech. I am getting some lovely coffee, and we are getting ready to go on a little adventure. Now, this is actually a CRT pickup adventure, and I was on Facebook yesterday, and I saw a listing uh, for a beautiful Sony CRT. You know, this is a PC monitor. I'll show you some pictures from the listing, but I was excited to see it because it looks like it's in near uh, mint condition and it comes with some accessories and it was tested and I communicated with the seller and he seems like a stand-up guy and uh, that's a good thing because this pickup is going to be quite a journey. I mean from where I live which is just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, I have to go down to Chattanooga into that area to get this CRT and that is about a two and a half give or take hour drive one way so it'll be over five hours altogether driving. Uh, the, the deal is really good on this CRT. It's only $100. And um, so I really, I need a PC CRT, uh, especially for the channel. So I thought this was a great opportunity to go get a real nice one. And um, even if I have to put in a little bit of work and go ride down there. So today we're going to go on uh, a journey down to Chattanooga and uh, check out the CRT. I, I, Probably we'll just go, depending on how this guy is at his house, I'll just go and get it and then um, bring it back. And like I said, he, he sounded like a stand-up guy or I wouldn't risk, uh, you know, sometimes if you get on Facebook, you get stood up and I would <laughs> that would be a disaster to drive two and a half hours and get stood up. So let's hope everything goes great today. And um, if so, we'll have an unbelievable Sony Trinitron here to look at and... Um, it's so early here, you know, we're, we're dusting the dew off things out here. And uh, my buddy Brutus, he's still snoring. So um, lucky for him, he doesn't have to go along with me today. Uh, he'll get to just sit and relax and catch up on some sleep. But let's go now, jump in the car, and just head on down the road to Chattanooga. All right, we'll be jumping in the Lexus and heading on this 300-mile trip. And I showed this tree a little while ago. It, it blooms nicely, but man, the birds just love it. They love to destroy my car. Look at that. Ugh. Oh. So they get to go in the bird turd. We won't be able to hit 480,000 miles today on this trip. But man, this 2001 Lexus is just one of the best vehicles ever. I'm not even joking. 479,460. So I'm stopped here at a gas station, fueling up about halfway to my trip. And it's uh, a beautiful day in Tennessee. We're looking right at about mid 60s for temperatures. The sun is out, the music is flowing, the Lexus is rolling great. And um, it's been a nice chance to sit here and calmly <laughs> relax. Because I'll be honest, I, I don't get many opportunities anymore to spend this much time by myself and think. I mean, I've got two young children and a wife and that's just wonderful and I'm fully blessed with them, but uh, you definitely don't get many moments to yourself and it's really great to be able to uh, go on a road trip like this. So this this um, is a refreshing uh, example of, of why it's good to just get out and do something different every once in a while. I know that over the last year, um, it's been difficult sometimes to cope with things and I mean, personally, uh, I used to go on a lot of road trips for CRT stuff, but obviously over the last year, I haven't gone as nearly as many. And um, things have really made, you know, these, this whole situation has really made me realize that uh, I need to kind of appreciate things and savor the moment more. And so, um, don't take things for granted, even if it's just a small thing like a nice day to take a road trip and get away from things in the country for a little bit and then go pick up a great CRT. And uh, so um, I don't know how you've, you guys have been coping and uh, hanging in there, but for me, it's, it's therapeutic to do this and, and definitely um, live in the moment and uh, enjoy it. 
when try to learn how to cope with it, whether it's good or bad. So anyway, let's go now. We're going to get to this CRT. All right, I got the monitor and I'm ready to head back in the car. Probably take me another hour to get home and we'll get it fired up. It looks to be in great shape and it also came with the color probe. All right, guys, well, there it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's in beautiful shape. I can't wait to get it out and show it to you. I just <laughs> literally stopped over here on the side of the road, stretching my legs after picking it up, looking at this little kind of picnic runoff area on the main road. It's a beautiful little view along the way, about 25 miles away from the guy's house where I got it. I'll see you guys in a second. Goodness, Brutus, you still sleeping, buddy? <laughs> oh man, look, we got it. Oh, 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 it's here. And this special button. Wow, would you just look at this thing? It's it's amazing and breathtaking how awesome this uh, CRT really is. First off, the guy that I went and met with, Paul. Uh, he was a great guy. He actually had a basement where he had a whole mod sh mod shop, almost a little bit smaller than probably what I have, but he worked primarily on uh, Xboxes and Wii's and also 3DOs, believe it or not. He had a lot of big collection of 3DO stuff, so that was pretty cool. Uh, he definitely was nice, and uh, so I got the monitor from him, obviously. We've got it set up here. And just to note, it did come with this color probe, and uh, it did not come with the hood enclosure, which would normally go around it. And then there's also a special Sony VGA cable that had VGA on one end that would go into the back of the monitor. And then on the other end, it would go from VGA. It would have a VGA output and like a USB cord to plug into your computer and then it could communicate through some software with this but i'm not too familiar with any of that obviously yet the model number is the sony gdm c520 now, i did find other listings where like a 520k and p models this just said c520 uh, it's supposedly a color uh perfect almost CRT monitor for uh, the primary use for it would have been for photo editing back in the early 2000s and it would have cost a lot of money but w I don't want to give you too many details on it because I'm going to do a full detailed video on um, the monitor itself a lot of the things inside of it and all the normal things that I do with all the CRT so that will be coming I just wanted to show you it set up here I did spend a little bit of time trying to get the refresh rates uh, really perfected and understand what's going on there because this thing has the most unbelievable range of refresh rates and resolutions that it actually supports. And I was able to get it set up a little bit better with my 2003 uh, Gateway PC tower, which I pulled out of storage from my years in college, believe it or not. I got that tower actually made for me in a gateway store. And uh, later on this year, we're going to do a restoration on that so that we'll have a perfect CRT to go, or a perfect tower to go with this CRT. But I've also got, this has two inputs on it. And um, so obviously right now it's running Doom 2 through the, PC tower just on regular hardware from the time period but it also has a second input with VGA and I'm going to input my newer PC and then you can use it with 
more modern graphics cards. Uh, I've got a couple of graphics cards that are not brand new, but they are um, much more modern than anything uh, that's in this machine now, and they will produce some of the most amazing modern gaming images on this monitor. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And it's going to take a lot of time to get through that and work out some of the kinks. So those videos will be coming later this year, but I just definitely wanted to show it to you first and um, let you know that if you ever are lucky enough like me to come across one of these, um, you may just want to go ahead and grab it or do anything you can outside of, you know, going, I don't know. I mean, however far you can go, this, this monitor is something that, I feel like is probably undervalued right now and in a couple years it's going to be very expensive and hard to find if if it's not at that point already uh, but again look for a lot more content on this monitor to come and um, thanks for joining me today and i will ask you one more th thing uh, let me know some feedback on what you thought of today's video did you enjoy it did you enjoy the format did you um like kind of the different approach here where it was more of a vlog and a trip where you were went along on the haul and uh, pick up and if you did like it please leave me uh, a thumbs up or a comment and that way i can know if this is something i should invest more uh, effort and even i could get better equipment so it would be a little bit higher quality uh, for future things like this. I wouldn't do this all the time, but you know, periodically, if, if it's something that you guys like, please let me know. Now, if you don't like it, please also let me know. And because um, I do appreciate all your uh, critiques. And um, just thanks again for watching. And if you don't mind, just leave me your feedback. I do appreciate it. And I will definitely see you guys next time with some more retro content.